On King Dave, on Shorty. King, on King Dave. Hey, hey, hold on. <laughs> that shit was, hold on, no. <laughs> Which one he got shit. about you? I, I I haven't heard the song. Man, yet. you heard that. You I didn't post nobody that believes me that I haven't heard the song, but I just like I keep ignoring it every time he tags me in it. <laughs> he like I got next something like that. Something like that. That's Bro, everybody's joke. Why do you let people disrespect your? I never disrespect your girl just because it's your girl. And you my nigga, right? Why you let people do that shit? What am I gonna do? I'm just gonna f- nuke everybody. No, you need to practice fighting them niggas <sighs> so you can get ready for trail when he hits you with the hand. You keep talking about. He gonna sleep you with it. He's a dead issue. He's a dead issue. <laughs> I have the fact that we can hear everybody screaming. On this the interview outside, was so bro. high at first that blood gonna get to kicking in. On King David, shorty. Listen, if I'm gonna make my life into a fucking joke and do shit like a reality show with a bunch of dudes trying to fuck a girl, I gotta be able to take some jokes, right? I gotta be able to let famous Richard write a fucking song and not be like, I'm gonna beat you up, Richard. On King David. So shit, who you gonna slap? Nobody. You don't give a f- about that shit. My nigga Adam out here. I mean. Oh, his is a man. I'm doing my thing. I'm not worried about it. Nobody's like said anything about that shit that like bothers me. I can't think of anybody I would be mad at. Mad at. If I was going to be mad at anybody, it would probably be academics for doing the play-by-play of her getting f- by this other guy. But i only seen a little bit of that, so. You know why I f- with you and, and act? <laughs> why? Because y'all actually sit down. Y'all be there with the interview niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. That shit loud. We sit down with the interviewers? What do you mean? Like, like, I'll be there with the artists. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah. It, like, you know, it'd be real. It's not, like, open, like, no screen and shit. Like, no, disrespect nobody to do that shit, but it's just, like, more authentic. That shit's boring. Right. Like, I even, even I did a, a stream with academics for, like, three hours, like, a couple of months ago, and it's just, like, it's just not the same energy. Like, I feel like people would be so much more excited to see us in the same room, but when we're on Discord, it's just, I don't know, you lose something. I don't know. Um, so you really playing golf now? Oh, um, was that like a go, one-time thing? I've been a couple of times, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, you know, all my neighbors, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, being friendly with the neighbors and shit like that. I got a kid now, so. Really? Hell yeah, so I've been fucking with the golf. So your neighbor, that's who you go golfing with is your neighbors? Or are you Hell just yeah. trying to, like, fit in and do the same like shit? Like, my neighbors and plus, it's a, um, you know, I got the brand Persona. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Persona. Right. Cop that shit, but. Yeah, I got the brand, and we doing, like, a little collab with Rally Golf. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's a golf brand out of Houston. Right. And, like, they people be, like, having, like, planks and shit, like, at, like, the most infamous golf clubs. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, who the fuck was behind us while we was golfing? Was it Roger Clemens or Aaron Rodgers? One of them motherfuckers. <laughs> shit like that. Talk about, talk about we holding up the goddamn tee. Really? Shit like that. Hell yeah. You think you're good at it, or are you struggling? I'm decent. Once I got the, you know what I'm saying? I'm decent. Right. I mean, I'm going to be real. Like, rich... People play golf. This and, is just what they and do. And work out. That's why I'm working out. True. But if you just want to like be involved in those sort of social circles, like, bro, there's a reason why the, the president is golfing like 100 days out of the year and shit. Like, Donald Trump was out there golfing constantly. Like, people who are serious in business and shit, if you want to be in those circles, golfing seems like a pretty good way to get there. Nah, thanks. And also, if you're like a swagged out rapper dude, I feel like they probably have be some use for the you. Golf. I be killing the golf office. Right. Niggas ain't for real niggas can't fuck with me in general with this shit. It's max or motherfucking see the plot script you ever see. But does that so pain anything you I to do. have to wear the fucking goofy ass golf outfits? Or you just I ain't tripping. It's something new. I'm a I'ma crash it every time. Right. You know what I'm saying? They said schoolboy Q on that too. He's a golfer, I think. Hell yeah, but he I feel like he more score business than me. Like he for real. You know what I'm saying? Right. I go like, you know what I'm saying? Papa has some fun, but that shit get boring. And then when I get to missing that bitch, I'm like, man, fuck this shit. My dad has previously requested that I go golfing with him, and I told him I can't, I can't do it. I just, I don't think I can do it. Right. And when I think about it, like I'll probably, they'd be just be making fun of me the whole time. They're gonna be laughing their asses off at me if I really suck as bad as I assume I would suck. That's what probably is keeping me from doing it. I don't know. Um, okay. What about? Oh yeah, this is the, this is another thing I really wanted to hear you chime in on. So Saucy Santana told academics that he was gonna beat the shit out of him and fuck him. <laughs> Which is a hilarious sentence, even if we just left it right there. Damn. But academics basically said that he can't fight a gay guy because he thinks he'll get canceled. I mean, I feel academics, that's like a fucked up ass situation. Like, academics ain't no gangster. Right. That's like some gangster ass shit. <laughs> like, so get knocked out and <laughs> fucked, yeah. It's just like, <laughs> oh, shit. That's just fucking next level shit right there. But, I mean, do you, do, could you fight... Saucy Santana, if he wanted the smoke, I ain't, I ain't got no smoke with Saucy Santana. But what if he declared war on I'm you? I'm a motherfucking man. Anybody come my way, nigga? What the fuck? Even if they have a BBL, 
He got that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and long ass nails like your girl. I ain't no nigga about to swing on me, bro. Right. Like, you even try to touch me, you're going to die. If, like, yeah. I ain't going to do it. If such but a pay security, I got people, like, you know what I'm saying, pay security, but like, man, my, bro, don't even play with me like that. But right. at the end of the day, like, shit, nigga, Sausage Chain is a man. But the, but so, yeah. I, so I'm going to defend myself against any man. Even with a BBL. That's crazy. I got security for shit like that, but shit. <laughs> I got trans. I mean, shit, but hey, bro, hey, academics, if you want to fight Sox Santana, I could train you, like, you know what I'm saying, get you right. Right. Um, yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah, for sure, if Sox Santana walked up to the academics and hit him, then it's all good. <laughs> but realistically, like, that's. Oh, shit. But you hear that Puffy, he, Puffy tried to, like, get academics caught up. He invited them to a party in London that the City Girls and Sox Santana were at. So he could have got turned into a pack at this crazy party party. You just got to fight back. Defend yourself, academics. Like, Yeah. I got your back, bro. Let me know, bro. I, I train you. Like, you know what I'm saying? That could be a whole seat, bro. Just set up to fighting, bro. That could make some money. Okay, but your first public fight is a big deal. Yeah. Does he want his first public squabble to be with a guy with a BBL and a beard? That's weird for his image. Like, that would be bad for your image. If you had never had a fight before, and then all of a sudden there's a video of you fighting a fucking dude with a BBL, I would be like, Max, or like, I would hit up Toby, like, bro, this isn't, this isn't right. Like, nah, this is facts, not good facts, for his facts, career. Facts. I don't know, bro. I don't, he don't got to fight him, bro. Just ignore him. Yeah. Bro, with the media right now, bro, you could just ignore shit. And yeah. Like, nigga, after a month, people will forget. Right. Like, even cancel coach. I don't feel like nobody get canceled. But hey, don't be trying to go look for shit to cancel me for, right. for me saying this. I'm just saying, like, you can't really cancel, like, could nobody cancel Chris Brown? Yeah. You could cancel no light skinned nigga that do backflips. Like, the bitch is still going, <laughs> like, you know what but I'm saying? But the thing like, is, is that, like, any normal artist would have pretty much been canceled for what Chris Brown did, except for the fact that he's so musically talented. Bro, if you dark, big, black, dark with a beard, you don't stand a chance when it comes to cancel culture, bro. You think? They look at you like, man, hell yeah. Yeah, you know. Dark skinned niggas get it bad, bro. You don't have all the advantages that he has. Because look at the baby. All the baby had hold to on, do I was, do. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm the fattest, sexiest motherfucker out here, my nigga. <laughs> right. But as these hoes, nigga, what the fuck? But I'm just saying, like, the baby, he got canceled for just saying some shit about motherfuckers with AIDS. Like, don't get it. I don't know how to dance with Galeen, but to get him is with the hands on the knee. That nigga back. Right, yeah. No, that I mean, back. but if anything's going to bring him back, though, it's just the fact that he's real talented musically, you know? You got to sit down for a little bit, chill, mm. and come the fuck back. Yeah. You got to ignore some shit, bro. This internet shit ain't real. That's why you talk about some damn. I ain't see you in years. I see you on the internet. You my boy. 